welcome back to my channel and welcome to my crazy messy hair day if you are having a bad hair day all you have to do is mess up your hair even more so many compliments all day i promise this video is not about my messy pony this video is about this cool tone pastel pink look that i'm going to be showing you guys today i have done a lot of warm looks on my channel lately and i wanted to mix it up a little bit i was inspired by this palette which is so funny because it's not an eyeshadow palette but i saw it and i was like oh my god this is what i want to do on my eyes. This is actually a cheek palette from NARS. This is called Unfiltered 2. It has cool tone pinks in it and I like that it has like mattes and shimmers so you can use it on your cheeks, you can use it as a highlight and they also have a warm tone palette. This is Unfiltered 1. I used a highlight in here and this on my cheek. Excuse my little boy hands. I'm gonna show you guys how intense this is. So I'm just gonna run it across. Just swatching it on my wrist like that. That is the highlight, the blush, and then I used these guys on my eyes today, and so, so pretty. Very pigmented, very, very pretty. It's such a multi-purpose palette. You can highlight with it, you can add blush, eyeshadow, it's, you can do so much with it. If you wanna learn how to get this look, then keep watching. Messy's good. I've already primed my face. I'm gonna go ahead and go into some foundation. I'm gonna be using this one from LA Girl. It's the Pro Coverage HD foundation. And I'm just putting some on this little plate, mixing it with a lighter one, just in case it's a little too dark. Not the greatest smell, but it's okay. I'm starting to like this foundation. This is from NARS. It's the Light 275 Canal. And I'm just going to work that in underneath my eyes. Doing this triangle underneath your eyes is going to make your eyes look more lifted. Work that in with my beauty blender. I'm gonna do my brows off camera. I will be right back. Okay, so now for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna take this NARS palette right here, the Narcissist palette. This is actually a cheek palette, the Unfiltered 2 palette. There's this really pretty pastel peach shade called Conquest. It's a matte blush, but I feel like it would work great all over the lid just to set the eye and give the eye like a really nice cool tone look. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe R39 brush. I also like to use one either flesh tone shade or a shade like this, anything that you wanna use as your base. I like to use that all over my lids just so that we can set the creams on the space because if you just go on top of it with eyeshadow it can look a little bit uneven so next i'm going to take the morphe x kathleen lights palette i'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here and pop it onto the lid and i'm just going to do a light wash of this color on the lid and then for the crease color i'm going to take this shade right here in the palette and it's like a charcoal gray i'm just going to use windshield wiper motions and I'm actually loving the shades in this palette so much. So I'm going to go ahead and take Power Play, which is this really pretty matte, vivid pink. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my inner, the inner part of my crease. I'm taking the Morphe M422 brush, and I'm just going to pack it on right in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that charcoal gray color and I'm gonna start to work that a little bit more heavier on the outer part of the eye. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean fluffy brush. I'm gonna take this matte shade right here and start to work that onto the brow bone. And then I have this other Morphe brush, it's the M517. Do you see how that looks? That's not cute. But I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna start to work that shadow down. And you can see as I'm blending it into the darker shade, it's becoming this really nice, soft gradient look. And I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Linear Noir. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara and just prep my eyelashes for false lashes. So I'm just gonna put on some mascara really quick and I will be right back with some lashes. And then for a highlight on this inner corner of the eyes, I'm gonna take this shade from the Marc Jacobs palette. It's this one right here. It has like a purple reflect to it just to brighten up this inner area. And then on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and take the charcoal shade and start to work right on the lower part of the outer lash line. 
Okay, so I have this really pretty pastel purple shot um, eyeliner from ColourPop, and it's called Crybaby. And I'm gonna pop that onto the waterline. I'm gonna set my face now. I'm gonna use this Pop Beauty Setting 101 palette, and it has a translucent powder, a banana, and a peach. I'm gonna take the translucent all over the face and the banana underneath the eyes. For the all over the face, I'm gonna take this Morphe E41 brush and just pat that all over just lightly patting it to set everything in place and then for my under eyes I'll take my Sigma powder sweet brush and I'm gonna pick up the banana shade start to set my under eyes with that so for bronzer, I'm going to take this Rodial bronzer right here, and it's just a matte bronzer. This is in Natural Sun Kiss Glow, and I'm just going to sweep it on my cheeks. This is just going to give me some color. And then for my cheeks, I'm going to use the NARS Narcissist Unfiltered One Palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Out There. It's like a deep rust matte color, and I'm going to use that as blush on my cheeks. And I'm going to take my Morphe 530 brush work that on the apples of my cheeks and I'm gonna focus it on the hairline because that's where we want it to be the darkest and then you want it to lightly fade it out to the apples I like the way it looks when you bring it around the temple not all the way up but just about halfway it gives you a really pretty glow I'm gonna use this one as a highlight this is watch me Watch Me is like an opalescent gold sheen color. And then I'm gonna take my fan brush and just work that on the tops of my cheekbones. I like this highlight. It's not overpowering. It's just a nice natural glow to the skin. I really like it. And it meshes well with that warm blush. Right, I'm gonna go in with this pinky beige lip liner from NYX. It's called Soft Pink. And I'm going to work that on the lip line. And for some reason, I have been loving to accentuate and overdo my Cupid's bow. Over that, I'm gonna take the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Naughty. And then over that, I'm gonna put on this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And it's in Nonsense. It's a sheer gloss, kinda using it as a highlight. I'll keep everything else matte, just like the little highlighted area. And that is the final look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my messy hair and my look. If you did, thumbs it up. And don't forget to comment what you wanna see next. I've been reading through you guys' comments lately and it's been helping me out a lot on video ideas. So thank you guys for commenting what you guys wanna see. If you missed my last two videos, they are below my box. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. The subscribe button's right there. And if you are subscribed, but you're not updated on every video, you might wanna click the notification bell so that you can see my video as soon as it comes out, it will be in your inbox. So just thought I'd let you know. That's it, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until the next video, bye dollies.